let me make my way down and see oh dear how did they get down anyways let me let me see Yes, I am down. Down to the. I mean, with, with or without shoes. Man, you guys are looking at one of the most sophisticated guys on the planet. Shoes or without shoes, still gonna roll through. Yeah, the problem is the wet surface on slippers and. into the heart of the disaster zone I think that's hello Hi. good afternoon I came to check out what happened here yeah we found it oh, is, is that an eel yeah Dead. who trapped it Yeah. Are you guys going to throw it back into the ocean? Well, we're just going to work out because it's still got lots of hooks and stuff on it. So if a bigger fish comes to eat the eel, then that's going to... Ah. Yeah, so we're thinking, do we just take it and get it out of the ocean? Oh, that's an interesting find. Yeah, I believe the the mom and the and the two sons they've done a really good job in getting the dead eel out. Saw it on my short video. Uh, sorry, I took a short video of it. So they did quite quite well. Absolutely fantastic job from from them. They did quite quite well. Alrighty, so it's time for me to get out of here. I've spent quite a good number of time on here, going around, looking around. Oh yeah, she's still holding the eel on her hands. You guys can see it with the two sons. Yeah, it is dead. They are trying to redispose of it. So yeah, well done on them. Alright, the sun is moving. Moving nicely. Ah, this should be good for short video. Pause pause this one. Let me do a short video on this front view of this curved arch bridge. And who are these guys on here? Bird flying in behind them. Alright, you guys won't believe what just happened. I have been baptized by the sea water. Yeah, I have been baptized. I need to clean clean the lens. Let me get my clothes and clean the lens off. Yeah, I need I need to clean the lens. Let me see. So yeah, we're going to the second spot to the second quarter. Oh. Well, if you had fallen from here, the rocks would have saved you. <laughs> but that would have been a beating of your life. And what else? <laughs> I 
should better be fast and get out of here so that I can be able to make it to Canberra on time. Oh dear. Yeah, this warrants a short video in my humble opinion. So I can actually go down, down to that area. Alright, let's keep marching on. Moving on, we are moving on. We have a waterfall on here. Wow. That's interesting how somebody got down there to do a graffiti. Anyways, let me keep moving and make this one faster than me stopping at every single junction. Right, got that. Going to the second spot, to the second quarter. And yeah, to the second spot where these guys are. Oh. Well, if you had fallen from here, the rocks would have saved you. <laughs> but that would have been a beating of your life. 
I didn't see the edge. The edge was just staring at me like, hey dude, you really want to be that close? Your leg was almost out by millimeters. Yeah. Everybody looking at me and smiling because I'm holding my phone camera with the selfie stick and I'm on flip flops. <laughs> They're like, this guy is not serious. Yeah, let me widen the view so that we can get a lot more. People are doing serious fishing on here. I uh, need to see where the breakout zone. Okay, it looks like we've walked from one end of the bridge to the other end of the bridge. As you can see, traffic has cleared. Traffic. Mm -hmm. 
So let's see which diversion we need to divert to. To go down. It's quite interesting, people live. People live here. Access to Ladder Park, Rock Pool, and Ditch. Oh, huh. interesting. white if you want to buy a house so how the hell do I <laughs> do I find the the access going down yeah that's where I want to go uh, there to be impossible so it's better for me to find my way back actually I won't find my way back I'll probably cut off the video if I can't get access to to that area. That's if I don't miss the sign. So people do live all around here. It's quite interesting. Residential area close to a tourist main tourist destination. <laughs> I was almost tempted to enter <laughs> that area. <laughs> That's somebody's private property. Uh, da, da. Well, anyways, if you've enjoyed, hit the like button. It is food for the YouTube. I'll go as usual. And what else? If you haven't subscribed, we do things like this on a daily basis. Smash that subscribe button, please. And have I found the spot? Uh, yes, I think we have found the spot we are looking for. I don't know why I'm working on grass because if there's water on the grass, soaked water, my flip flop and my socks would be an agona. So this is the the location. They said this is a beach. <laughs> I wonder how the locals cope with having this much amount of traffic. Oh, there's a pool on here. Interesting. So yeah, this will be the last of the spot. This will be the last of the spot and then I will call, call the video. So let me give these guys chance to do their, their pose. Me pass first. Yeah, let me pass before you people start your third, fourth, fifth, sixth round off. All right. So people probably went through the rocks. 
Okay, fine, I've seen. So people went down here, they went through possibly this area going all the way down down there. Yeah, the problem is if you go down there and a snake pops up, <laughs> are you willing to take the risk? But yes, this is the this is the last of of them. Probably take my short video. Yeah, they actually walk themselves from here going down down there. So yes, please hit the like button if you have enjoyed. Yes, if you have enjoyed this tour and exploration. And what else? <laughs> I should better be fast and get out of here so that I can be able to make it to Canberra on time. Oh dear. Yeah, this warrants a short video in my humble opinion. So I can actually go down down to that area. So this pool is not in operation unfortunately. Anyways, well, I'll manage to divide the videos in a way that it's not too, too long. You guys can follow it in stages or in segments. Alright, let me do my shot. Thank you. Alright, let's, let's keep moving. and see what we find yeah there's a reason for the wide angle view so that everybody can see exactly in full perspective the terrain what is happening how things are going with the trail what is that oh. Jeez, a lot of pond on here. Yeah, the main problem is I don't want snake popping out of these particular stones to to bite me or something because I'm not interested in any of these adventures. Oh my gracious me. Anyways, yeah, you speak too soon. Yeah, I'm not not interested in fighting in fighting snakes. To be honest, snakes of Australia, be it venomous or non-venomous. Oh. So yeah, that's the terrain itself. Well, 
I believe this is the route they took to get to the other side. So let me plow with care and be excessively vigilant as well as be a bit careful not to trip as well. The stones do have degree of what you call surface roughness, dimensions, shape. -do 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 so I step in, I step out, I step in, I step out. Fast movement, just in case anything was lingering, it will miss me. So that I don't become a sitting duck, moving quite slow. But um, yeah, moving quite fast. It's not a disadvantage <laughs> in case you approach it quite in front of you. But yes, moving, moving quite rapidly and fast is, is the best option available as of now. So this is the amount of distance I have covered on here. Going towards Oh, do, do, do. going towards this area which I believe is how they trailed so looking in behind me you can see the guys are still there but I have plowed my way what a journey indeed it has been on here I think I should stick to the rocks rather than sticking to the sand. Dangers of the sand. The rock. Yeah, just stick to the rock. Well, you are complaining about snakes. You might also be worried about spiders as well. Okay, there are small rivers and small waters on here. Journey to the rock. Well, I did eat quite well today, as much as I ate quite late. All right, this is where we plow through the sand. So yeah, what a terrain, indeed, it has been. What a plethora of terrain. Well, I'm always guilty of not having the right shoes <laughs> for the occasion. As you guys can see, I'm on my bare, not bare feet, flip-flops and socks. So that was what happened to me when I went hiking. Mount Cook, the snowy, snowy trail of um, Hooker Valley Pass. I was busy shouting terrain response because the lady who went breezing past had some form of spike technology on her shoe that allows her to go up icy, icy surfaces with ease and I was quite amazed. I didn't know what that was. Technology or something, but it ended up being uh, them incorporating some form of chain and spike mechanism onto the onto their shoe. They wrap it around your shoe to aid them in such icy terrain, and I was quite amazed. I couldn't believe how the heck she was able to breeze past through, and I lost my concentration while being amazed of how quickly she was able to go up. Then as I was being amazed and wowed and bamboozled of what she did. Valala, guess what? Pew! I slipped. <laughs> I slipped and once I slipped, I flew. And I was like, oh shit. Recover. Even my pants saved me. What my pants did was it gripped the ice. So it's good. 
dude that accompanied her they were from america the the dude was just behind me he looked he turned his neck i was like oh, okay poor you <laughs> and went on moving but um along the line they saw that i was moving quite rapidly and steadily and then yeah we stopped had a chat good chat had a good chat and yeah exchanged some pleasantries and then moved on to the lake hookah or the hookah lake so yeah it's quite interesting interesting journey it has been alrighty so this is where we are these guys are really back to where the where are they I lost track of them. 